<laughs> you undersold that. Right, oh, so we have to introduce the new car now. What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of the Drift Games Vlog. We got a very exciting episode for you today. A lot of cars, a lot of builds, a lot of projects. Give you guys a little update on what's going on. I'm at our Drift Games HQ. We got a bit of cleaning up to do. So we're gonna go in and see if we can move stuff around. We gotta get some cars out of the yard into the shed. And kind of give you an update on what's going on, on the channel. Look at this. Look at this thing. It's worth it, Josh. Every time I walk in, it's worth it. As you can see, we have to obviously air it out every time it's in the shed because, you know, it's, it's part of it. So today, we are doing nothing with the PS13 because myself and Wayne are gonna do a little clean on this at another time. We're gonna go through the car back to front, make sure everything is A-OK -okay and get it ready for an NCT, which is like a government vehicle inspection. How it's going to do, we might even video that. That might actually be pretty funny. Yeah, so the MX-5 now, as you can see, the full chassis is prepped. Uh, why it's here, why it looks like this, well, we were waiting. We're on a waiting list for sandblasting and priming. So, you know, we're uh, just normal guys. So we gotta wait in line like everybody else. So this car, in the next two days, will be going to get fully sandblasted, and then it's gonna be primed, and then it's gonna be sealed, and then it's gonna be primed again, and then the chassis is going to be painted. So a lot of you guys who are wondering what's happened to Games Changers, how are the cars doing, here you are. The cars are still here. We're waiting on our slots to go get them fixed. So we're hoping in about seven days time that the MX-5 will be back and ready for assembly. And over here, where Josh is cleaning up, the Corvette will be back and ready for assembly. That's the plan, that both will come back at the same time and then we can just jump in, get all the exhaust work done. Ryan will be back to do all of that kind of stuff. We'll be building the cars back up. That's the exciting part. That's the bit you've been waiting a couple of months to see. So that's what we are doing. Now we are promising that uh, next week we're gonna spend the day cleaning up this garage because it's got a little bit out of hand. So we're gonna basically clean all this down next week, have the whole garage looking absolutely spectacular again. But at the moment, we're just gonna move some stuff here because we've gotta bring another car in, Josh. Have you introduced the other car? I haven't introduced the other car, but I'm going to do it like a... Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get some space, I'm going to move the PS, I'm going to drive it in and people are going to be like, wow! It's going to be a surprise. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> Josh, you've got your favourite album. Taylor Swift? Yeah. <laughs> it could be. It could be Taylor Swift. It's like a storybook or something. Okay, I said that's enough of that anyway. <laughs> not even sure what that was. Not sure what that was. It was like podcast before podcast, I think. Oh, we forgot to show them this in the last video. What's this? The key. You ready? On a scale of one to ten, how satisfying is that? That is like the most baller thing anyone's ever done. So, you know, if you're at home trying to be baller, you've been outdone. Right. Right, oh, so we have to introduce the new car now. Not the new car, this is, this is not as exciting. Well, technically it is a new car. It's a new car, but it's not very exciting, but it sounds good. Guess what it is? Well, it's I a know Fiat it 500. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not that. It's actually way better. We got a new sore. <coughs> Why have we got a new sore? What on earth is that? Have you not got enough grief on the last sore? I think. <laughs> there's, there's no one there's, there's, there's logic in this. So this car, because the sore is quite complicated on the other one, I, we wanted to see what was wrong with it, so we have one to compare it to. I think I'll probably sell this one. Yeah, it's actually really clean. I was going to break it, but it's actually nicer mechanically than the one I have, so it'd be a shame to break it. So I think I'm going to sell this one. And um, we might put a kit on it and some wheels and stuff like that, and then sell it on. I don't think we'll keep this one, but I want to just have it for a few little tiny pieces for the other one that I can swap over. But yeah, but the one thing I do want from this car is the exhaust. Is it going to be dead? Oh, hearing this, that is that's very nice. It has uh, no engine check lights on, unlike my one. Um, so it has, has all the engine. All of the lights. engine check lights on. This one. Can I give you a bit of a rev? That sounds like a proper V8 there. Yeah, that's what I want to. I want to put this exhaust on my one. So that's that was one of the reasons I bought it. You know, you can just buy exhaust by themselves. Really? <laughs> you don't have to buy. The you don't have car. to buy the whole car. As I said, it's just, I wanted here just to see if there's anything we need on ours, we can get ours finished quickly. And also, you'll be wondering why the sore isn't here. 
we've been on a little special project with Hexus UK, Precision Tinting Graphics and BC Racing. I'm not going to say any more about it just now, but yeah, something special going down with that car. A lot more special than we thought originally. It's going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to get this into the shed. We've got a lot more stuff to do today, Josh. We've got to get this stuff done quick. So yeah, more cars to add to the shed. Don't crash into your Porsche. We're gonna do something nice with this. I don't know what we're gonna do with it yet. I, I, I kind of bought this on a whim. Um, wouldn't be like me. And uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly how far we're gonna take it, but it is gonna be a car that we're gonna sell. So it needs a bit of tidying. It needs a little bit of work, but we could do that. It's not bad. Just, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe some wheels, a kit. You never know. All right guys, we're on the road to Mondello Park. I'm in the Cayman. We're gonna do this photo shoot on the MX-5 and the Mustang. We actually haven't seen the two cars together yet and Josh's MX-5 just arrived back recently. So I'm anxious to get them out into the sunshine and have them pictured together. It's gonna to look really cool. I think the color scheme is gonna look really well together. And these are just our two demo cars while the new competition cars get finished. So it's a nice relief for us a little bit to know that these are ready to rock and roll for testing, for practice. Or if worse comes to worse, we don't hit our deadlines, we can still go to competition in these two beasts. So yeah, looking forward to it. Okay, so we're in Mondello and you really have to take advantage of days like this because there's very few of them. So my car is still where it was the other day from the photo shoot and the video shoot that we did. So we're gonna pull this outside. The Mustang should be arriving very shortly and hopefully be able to get some cool pictures and some videos around Mondello of these two cars. Ooh, look at the fancy door cars we did as well. It does that sometimes. For those of you that don't know, the car does not have power. Steering, that makes it tough sometimes. Josh, don't they look amazing? I was gonna say, both together, they really do look amazing. It's the best each car has looked, I think, definitely. If you guys wanna know what the new MX-5 and the new Corvette, if you're watching the channel, you'll know we're building both those cars at the moment, we'll be getting back to them very soon. This is very similar to what they're going, so if people want an idea of it, this is quite similar. This is the one we tested it on, we tested it on the crappiest car we have. I have not taken, that is not a crappiest <laughs> car. So yeah, these two cars, we did a little photo shoot, hope you guys enjoyed the montage. Um, sun shining, we barely get these days in Ireland, so we ran down here to make sure that Let's we got the sun behind there now. It's gone now, but we had a bit of it. So we got some nice photos, nice shots. That's amazing. So now we're going to head back in the cars, head down the road, catch up with the boys at Triple Eight who are building the Porsche and the S15 and all that other madness. And we might even have a package for the old golf fan. So stay tuned. We're hopping in the cars. We're getting out of here. Calm down before you stress up the groove. The energy a little different when the blessings are cool. Ain't who you talking to. Just know why ain't no weapon. Mine sounds better. It doesn't sound better. Mine sounds like a tractor when it starts up. And man, I do not know on my dash. There he is. All right guys, we've just arrived here to Triple Eight. We're catching up on some of the projects that the guys are working on and I think there's some parts here for the golf van, which we'll talk about in a moment. But before I do, I want to thank one of our partners here at Drift Games, Mobile One Oil. Every car you see us race, drive on the road or drift, 
runs their lubricants and if it's good enough for the Formula One team of Red Bull then it's good enough for us. We want to protect our engines, we want to make sure everything works correctly and Mobile One are the best in the business for us. So check out Burke Lubricants and their full line of lubricants here in Ireland and check out the full Mobile One range on their website also. Don't settle for anything less. Now, let's go check out these projects. All right, so we're here at 888. Um, a lot of projects going down, so we're gonna give you a quick catch up on everything, but there's a box in here that the boys want me to look at, which I think is for the golf. There's a present for you. You know what's getting bad when boxes are getting sent to other people's garages now at this stage? So this is the new front bumper for, I actually can't believe I'm saying this out loud, for the Pandem Golf Van project. Pandem Kitted. Pandem Kitted Golf Van TDI Blue Motion project take away all of that um, and what we've got here is a bumper so this is the or bumper I presume and we've got lots of other bits so there's like you got it to it already there's a splitter um, this is all for the bumper it's yeah. all just the bumper yeah it's grills so what we've decided to do is the pandem kit is essentially designed for a golf GTI but I have decided to be a little bit different and put it on a golf or kit which is going to be misery, I'm Purely sure. Purely because you're not doing it. Because I'm not doing it, I decided I'd do something really difficult. Um, so this is the Golf or Grill, as far as I know. Yeah, there it is. And the reason I picked the Golf or Grill, and there's a reason for this, every other Golf Grill has a badge here. I will turn off my phone. That is an embarrassing ringtone as well. That's my, that's <laughs> my robot. Blah, 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 blah. Loads of stuff with this, I think. Does it bumper? That's all that's the main thing, that's what you This is what you really want to that's see. That's what you want to see. Try and slide it out. There's a lot of opening this time. I think so. This is the... Look at that! And it's plastic too, so it's not even fiberglass. I'm building it. I'll assemble it all in one go here now, but yeah. You get this jazzy grill. You break it before he's made it. Yeah. It goes in there. Look at that! Does that not go behind? That does go behind. <laughs> <laughs> Fairly self-explanatory. Goes there. I don't know why you failed on every single bit. There's lots of stuff in this. We should all just build golf vans. They're so easy to get parts for and everything. So this is... Oh, look at this. Fog lights. So yeah. Dave, I'm not too sure what we're in. It goes in from here. the back, alright? Come on, lads. I'm, really I'm not sure anything has been achieved here so far. We have a light the wrong way round. <laughs> oh, Dave. See? And then that goes in there. I will say it's a very complicated bumper, all this. As I, I would say there's honestly... Do you know what I actually like? Because all the other cars pieces. we're building, all the other cars we're building have fiberglass kits and everything breaks and there's going to be a fiberglass pandemic kit on this. But at least the front bumper is plastic, so... It's actually OEM-ish. It's exciting though, because this is that's going to change the car massively. So I'm looking forward to this. We have a bumper. We have to wait for the kit, and I'm going to get a rear bumper. And I've got to get other stuff for it. So we've got to basically make the car look like a Golf or first, then put on the kit, then put on the wheels. That's the plan. Um, over the next couple of episodes, we'll do that. So do you want to go and catch up on all the rest of the projects? Because this is like we're looking at the Golf or bumper here for ten minutes. So let's go look at the actually inter I, I, interesting I stuff in there. The surprisingly more interesting things, I think. To some people, this might be the most interesting thing, but we, I think there's far more interesting stuff inside. All right, so we're back in to the workshop. Mis Miseryland. Do you know what? This is the first time, am I right in saying the first time the two cars have been side by side? And they're a lot different than where they started a couple of weeks ago. So this, since we've seen it last, obviously the paint has been done and we have got a road paint. Very tidy. Yeah. Ryan Butterfly Morton getting in there. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm doing a great job. This is, again, you can see straight away the quality of the work from Ryan. It adds to the car so much, doesn't it? Having that little half gauge ah, in there. Yeah. Especially in that colour because now you're not going to miss it looking in through the back window, yeah. which is fantastic. It doesn't just look like a standard 996 anymore. And then you've got the back bumper on now just to show how actually ridiculously low this car is now at the moment. Yeah. Has the exhaust yeah. been done? Exhaust, yeah, there's a full custom exhaust on it, yeah. There's a lot more to do to it. Does it start? Oh, Craig, go for it up there. <laughs> Look, at oh, Jesus, you know notice that? this. Hold on a minute, can I take this bumper off? I can, yeah. Hold on a minute. <laughs> oh, God. That's exhaust, guys. <laughs> it's a 
a weird sound. What's that noise? Now, this wasn't my idea. The lads thought this would be great. It's kind of all chopped out, okay? So, the number plate is actually going to be attached to the exhaust. So there'll be a bracket coming off the exhaust to the plate since I don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask, well, do you know what I am going to do? I'm going to buy another bumper anyway. So, when I don't like what they tell me to do, I can put it the way I want it. To be fair though, I think it's quite cool if you, if you actually mounted the, the number plate on the exhaust, that's yeah, very cool. Not a plastic one, but hey. I was going to say, it may melt. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. while we wait for the booster pack for this, I, I can't stop staring. She's I can't. ready to fire. Oh, she's ready to go? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there. I'm going to move on at all. Fire away. <laughs> Is it loud? No, You definitely lied. That's honestly the loudest thing I think I've ever heard. That was horribly loud. That was, that was loud. That was it. What? <laughs> I think that's the first time a boy's like stepped no, back no, from the car. Oh, it's real loud. And then you go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you undersold that. It's incredible. And the air and everything works now. Everything's all good. Ish. Ish. <laughs> well, it's only, it's only, yeah. We've a bit of a news on. Is it a work in progress? <laughs> exactly, yeah. The plan now is to get everything ready for the kit and the wheels. So essentially when that all arrives, they're the last pieces of the puzzle yeah. sort of thing. Um, interior obviously needs to be done. This thing has come a long way in a couple of weeks. And I'm going to move on because I, I can't stop staring at this over here with the wheel combo over here. Dave, she's very different now. <laughs> this, this is a big one. jump now. <laughs> We were kind of so excited by this for a few weeks ago. Oh, stuff's happening. Yeah. This was just, oh, body work, great. <laughs> but now, it's starting to come together. So we can reveal the color is black. Yeah. It's not. What gives that away? It's not, <laughs> it's not, it's not the shiniest primer in the world. Um, and I can't get over the arches on how like perfect they look. It was definitely worth the effort, I think. Ah, yeah, 100%. Because you know yourself, you'd have all the rivets and then things would be popping out and off the body. It just looks perfect. And big old works wheels, which oh, yeah. is the way to go. So you're going shiny chrome on black, which is like, the, no one, no one is going to dislike this car because this is like not a car where you put in a mad color and people might like it, might not. This is like the perfect S15 I, sort of thing. I wouldn't mind, I didn't intend to go on polished wheels. It was just I've seen them for sale and just in the sizes that they wear, like they're, what are they, 18 by 11 minus 20 on the back and 18 by 10 minus 30 on the front. This car is obviously going to stay static, this is like a track car. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not going to be a show pony. No, definitely. This car is going to be driven, so. And we've got to the back, we've got, we've saw the boot floor going in. Just look, how, look how jazzy this looks. So we've got the painted soap frame. I never actually realised they did matte powder coating. I always thought it was gloss. It's matte powder coated? Yeah. Powder is that a, that's the thing. Yeah. I presume. Well, we you learned, know that. We learned something new every day, Josh. Just wait for Paris and that's that's the only thing holding me back now, yeah? Oh, we know about that. Yeah. <laughs> we are we are quite uh, experts in being held back by Paris. Um, so this is this is coming along a long way as well. When you look at both cars compared to where they were, that's crazy. But this is the car that I used to like and now it worries me. This is why it worries me, is because I know down in the other shed they're building something very like this to take on our G thirty five in the Should build up. Yeah, it's annoying me though, because every time I look at this, I'm going, this is car's unbelievable. But that's what it's going to look like. They have a before and is it, after. Craig, is this the plan? <laughs> yeah, it's literally just going to be that in red. That in red? Yeah. That's literally all you need to do. <laughs> like, that car is so nice. That's our donor car. Isn't it? This is the donor car. Any <laughs> parts you need to be taking out that. There's been a fair few parts robbed now that I'm not very happy with either, to be honest with you. <laughs> I want to go see it, because the last time I saw it, it was getting cut to pieces, and it was 17 different shades of red. So, let's see how she's getting on. Here at Drift Games, we absolutely love online drifting. But more importantly, for you guys watching at home, we want to get you in the game as well. So we've partnered up with DigitalMotorsports.com, Ireland's first online sim store, who are experts in everything when it comes to online drifting. And they're going to give you guys a full free sim rig at the end of this series. Now, I know you want to know, how do you win? But it's quite simple. Every single episode of Games Changers, we're going to release a letter. It looks a bit like this. And that letter will form a sentence. And at the end of the series, the first person who can put that full sentence together correctly wins a full simulator. And that's not bad going. Yeah, like a sneak peek. It's, got, it's a lot further than, uh, than our project is. Ours is going to come back very closely though. So if you guys don't remember, four weeks ago, not four weeks ago, two weeks ago, 
uh, we gave ourselves four weeks and a 12,000 euro budget to build two cars. The boys are building an E36 BMW, we're building a Nissan G35 four door, and both cars in two weeks from now, and I'm actually feeling okay about that right now, because it's I'm still... not too sure, it seems like the, the hard bits, and we know of cars, they look worse right before they look better. Yeah, we've got all the kit, everything's kind of sitting here. Everything's being primed up and I just realized prepped that. for paint. Yeah, they've done quite a bit here. They're, they've gone a little bit further than us. However, our car is in Precision Tinted Graphics and we've got the craziest livery. I'm gonna actually show a little quick pick on my phone. But I'm not quick pick. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let you zoom in because I wanna surprise everyone, but I wanna kinda show you know, it. Though. Through um, screen grabs they'll be able to zoom in themselves now. No, they, they, they won't they wouldn't have known that if you didn't say it, Josh. <laughs> the technology these days. I'm gonna do a little quick a little quick one, right? Ready? A little quick flip. Yeah. Oh I don't reckon they will have seen that. I don't think they'll have seen that. You saw that it was red? Yeah, so we're gonna we're that, that car is gonna be finished next week, and then we're gonna have to take it back to the shed. I've already got Wayne on some parts for it. We're gonna make it into a drift car, but a proper like Nico circuit, basic fun drift car. That's what we want. This, on the other hand, is a proper show a car. Proper show car. Which not right now. It looks more like a Nissan. It's car not even now. a show car. It's a three two five, so it's got a bit of go in it as well. So yeah. yours is a three one eight. Yeah. So this is gonna be like a faster version of your yeah, car. A better version. A better version. <laughs> <laughs> so you build a better version and then you give it away. And then you have to look at the worst version every day after that, which is fair enough. Yeah, I'm actually, you know what? As much as we started this as a bit of competition, I'm actually quite excited to see how this turns out. And I know you guys are kind of excited to see how our G35 turns out. And I think when both cars are finished, it's gonna be very close on who's gonna win it. So yeah, I'm actually excited about it. It's not gonna be close. You know what I'm <laughs> we're, we're clearly gonna win. I don't know. I, I, I think my car is a little unusual. People are kind of a bit more hyped on it. Well, let us know. So far, you've seen the G35 is in Precision Chain Graphics. You've seen this car now starting to make its transformation. Let us know in the comments, which car are you going to be buying a ticket for? Is it the BMW or is it the G35? Is it both? Can we win it? We can't win it. We can't enter it. Crap. We can't enter it. Yeah. I, I, think, I think we're going to get emotionally attached to the G35 if we go and have some skids in Mandelo. I'm going to be a little bit upset about it. But thank you guys for coming along with today. We had a fun day. Is that enough for an episode? That's probably enough for an episode. Maybe you guys want to see more. What do you want to see more of? Obviously, if you've seen any cars in the videos, and you want to know anything about more about them, hit us up on Instagram or Facebook. Um, obviously, if you guys want to go onto the Drift Game shop, grab some merch, that would be awesome. It really helps us out with the channel. And of course, if you're going to buy any parts, buy them from our partners because those guys support us, which means they can support more drifters, some more people in the community. And thank you for watching. Subscribe as well. Uh, about 50% of you guys don't subscribe. It takes three or four seconds. It really means the world to us. We're going to see you on the next one. What's the next episode? I have absolutely no idea, but it'll probably involve more misery, more parts, more boxes, more cars, more projects. We'll see you on the next one.